Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill with how every U.S. senator is invited to the White House today for a special briefing on the North Korean threat. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, and that is an unusual venue. Normally, these briefings take place here at the Capitol, but senators say they're very eager to learn more about what they see as a grim and escalating threat. Uh, obviously, an assessment of what could be the greatest threat that we've faced uh, since the Cuban Missile Crisis. I think it's very helpful to hear from the President of the United States. The nation's top military and diplomatic officials will update senators at the White House this afternoon. President Trump himself plans to drop by after issuing this blunt assessment during a meeting with Ambassador Nikki Haley on Monday. This is a real threat to the world, whether we want to talk about it or not. North Korea is a big world problem. Senators typically meet with briefers in a secure room in the basement of the U.S. Capitol, not an unsecured auditorium at the White House. Why do you think the White House wants to do it there? I don't know. Um, but since it's the first time the president's invited the entire Senate over, I think we should go and hear what he has to say. South Carolina Republican Lindsey Graham argued the White House setting sends an important message. I think going to the commander in chief's house is the right place for Congress to be. And I hope the world's watching that we're going to his house and we're going to listen to his concerns. Senators Graham and McCain had dinner with the president earlier this week. They say it doesn't appear he's made up his mind yet about whether to use force. Those same military briefers will be coming here to the Capitol later today, Charlie, to fill in all 435 members of the House of Representatives as well. Thanks, Nancy.